What if I told you the most energy efficient air purifier we have ever tested wasn't made by a multinational corporation, but by a small grassroots startup? Today, we're looking at the Luggable XL Ultra, a device that just broke every record on the Energy Star database for efficiency. But does that record breaking number actually translate to more clean air in your home? We built it, we tested it, and the results are surprising. Let's get into it. Everything I'll share with you today is based on my experience and first-hand data, our test process if you want to know more. For those who don't want to sit through my full review of the Luggable XL Ultra, here are the two things I don't like and the four things I love. Firstly, what I don't like. The design is bare bones, the wooden frame is less durable than plastic or metal cases used in your traditional air purifier. It comes with a single fan speed out of the box, and it has only one speed, which runs a bit loud at 47 decibels. What I really like, it offers world-class efficiency. The XL Ultra is officially the most energy efficient air purifier ever tested by Energy Star, delivering incredible performance for the energy it uses. It has extremely low running costs. The combination of low energy usage and affordable standard HVAC filters make it one of the cheapest high performance air purifiers to run long term. It offers excellent quiet performance with a tweak. While it comes with a single speed power supply, using a variable voltage adapter unlocks powerful air cleaning at sub 45 decibels. It has been independently tested. It uses no ionizer and has KDOR results verified by Intertech and Energy Star. And that's a level of certification we're yet to see from other PC fan air purifiers. By the way, if you appreciate our independent reviews here at Housefresh, then be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. Okay, let's jump in to my full review, starting with the design. At a glance, the Luggable XL Ultra looks just like the Luggable XL7 reviewed back in 2024, and it makes sense because both devices have seven PC fans, a lightweight body made out of hardwood panels, and two filter 20x25 MPR 1900 filters and handle. The main difference is that the Ultra comes with seven Black Edition Cooler Master Mobius 120p 2400 RPM fans. When buying a Luggable XL Ultra, you'll be met with a few options. You can buy a DIY kit for $295, which will require to build your own luggable and also buy filters separately. Or for $399, you can get your Ultra fully assembled, including the filters. You can also add a mesh filter guard that slips onto the frame for an extra $100, which I would recommend if you have kids or pets at home, as it will make the body sturdier and you'll also help protect the filters. And if you already own a Luggable XL7, you might be happy to hear that you can upgrade it like I did with mine. Clean Air Kit sells an upgrade kit with all the things you need to convert your XL7 into an XL Ultra. I paid 236 quid to get the kit sent to the UK, but if you're in the US, you will be able to get an upgrade kit for 165 bucks. Right. It was exciting to see that both the Luggable XXL and the XL Ultra are now listed in the Energy Star database. These are the first PC fan air purifiers I've seen in there. According to Energy Star, the Luggable XL Ultra offers a dust cadre of 402 CFM. You'll also notice that the Ultra has earned the most efficient 2025 badge thanks to the fact that it achieved an impressive energy efficiency of 26.2 CFM per watt. To put this into perspective, the popular Blue Air 311 iMax also made the most efficient 2025 list with a much lower 9.1 CFM per watt. So did the much pricier Kowei Air Mega Pro X with 10.2 CFM per watt. This is incredible work from the team at Clean Air Kits, and I hope this will finally put to bed the idea that you need an ionizer for energy efficient air cleaning. But these results are based on top speed performance alone without accounting for sound, which is why we also run our own tests. First, we tested the Luggable XL Ultra running at its only speed in the same 728 cubic feet test room we've tested over 100 different air purifiers. At its only speed, it took 19 minutes to achieve PM10. Based on the natural ventilation of our test room, we estimate a PM1 KDAR of 315 CFM, which is a 19% improvement over what we saw with the older Luggable XL7. And it will be able to provide five air changes per hour in spaces up to 472 square feet. But let's look at how much sound it creates. The Luggable XL Ultra is much quieter than most traditional high KDAR air purifiers, but it is definitely louder than the standard Luggable XL7. This got me thinking, is there anything I can change to make it run quieter? The power supply you get in the DIY kit is single speed, but I decided to replace it with a variable voltage adapter like this one from Air Fanta. Using the adapter, I found a speed where the XL Ultra meets our 45 decibel limit for quiet performance tests. This is the kind of flexibility you get with a DIY style device, and I love it. Anyway, I repeated the particle removal test with the XL Ultra running at 10.9 volts, and it took 21 minutes to reach PM10. 
we estimate a PM1K of 284 CFM at 10.9 volts, which will be powerful enough to provide five air changes per hour in spaces up to 426 square feet, under 45 decibels. This is an excellent quiet performance. The only models to outmatch the XL Ultra at this lower sound levels are the much larger and higher priced Smart Air Blast and Kowei Air Mega Pro X. But let's look at energy consumption to see how much electricity the Luggable XL Ultra uses to achieve this level of KDAR. As always, I used our power meter to measure how much energy this device pulls at its one speed and on standby. Running the Luggable XL Ultra at its one speed 24-7 for one year will add $17.77 to your energy bill based on the average US electricity price as of September 2025. This means that the Luggable XL Ultra uses a lot less energy than the other high KDAR devices we've benchmarked it against. The only model that beats the Ultra in electricity usage is the original Luggable XL7 with its sickle floor 120 fans. But this lower energy consumption comes with lower KDAR too. But let's look at the other main factor that affects yearly running costs, the filter replacements. According to Clean Air Kits, you can expect to change the filters on the Luggable XL Ultra every 12 months. Unlike standard air purifiers, there are no proprietary filters for this unit, so you're free to use any type of 20 by 25 HVAC filter. That said, Clean Air Kits recommends a 3M filter MPR 1900, and our own testing agrees with this as the best choice. At the time of this video, you could get a set of two Filtra MPR1900 for $41.72, and we can add this energy cost to work out total yearly costs. Clean Air Kit's units go to show how using PC fans and non-OEM filters help to reduce running costs significantly. Although here I need to mention that many of the air purifiers I'm benchmarking the Ultra against come with activated carbon, so filter life is usually shorter and the filters themselves tend to be more expensive. Now that we have all the figures, you can calculate how much money you can expect to spend on year one of buying a luggable XL Ultra, including upfront costs and running costs. For the first year of one premium IQ Air, Smart Air or Coway unit, you could buy multiple luggables to have around your home. So is the XL Ultra from Clean Air Kits worth it? Well, it's clear from the data that this is an incredible air purifier. It achieves this outstanding air cleaning performance with a relatively small footprint. It's highly energy efficient, and it's one of the most cost-effective devices to run in the long term thanks to its use of PC fans and HVAC filters. Sure, the design is very different from the usual cylindrical or boxy air purifiers you might be used to seeing, the hardboard body isn't as durable as plastic or metal, and it lacks smart features and other bells and whistles you find on traditional models. But for those wanting to achieve the very best particle removal performance with low running costs, this is an incredible machine for less than $400. The only downside is that the only fan speed is louder than we'd like at 47.2 decibels, and it doesn't come with a carbon filter, so it won't help at all with gases or odors. So if the 47.2 decibels put you off, then I recommend going with the standard Luggable XL7 as it will give you 260 CFM at 38.8 decibels without the need to use a variable voltage adapter. And if you're looking for an air purifier to clean your air from pollen, smoke, dust, or airborne viruses and bacteria, then the Ultra might be just what you need as you don't need a carbon filter for that. By the way, the XL Ultra is currently only available to those in the United States, but I have heard rumors that this might be changing in the future, so I'll be sure to share an update if it does. Also starting this month, Clean Air Kits has started selling the Luggable 5 and the Luggable XL7 in Europe and the UK, offering free shipping for orders over $100. Although there might be extra costs depending on where you live due to tariff and local taxes, so be sure to check through their site. And that's it from me today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this raw record-breaking efficiency worth the simple no frills design? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you found this review helpful, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to help us reach more people with our work. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Happy?